dodgy. Leaked photo of Meghan smirking at the coffin of the late queen. What she thinks in her head is disgusting. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Remember when the pictures came out after the hoax car chase and Markle is sitting in the back seat smirking? I recall thinking she was smirking and looking happy that the Queen had died. Meghan's trying to suppress the manic grin that slides its way onto her face every time she knows a camera is pointed at her. This expression of hers always comes across as amused to me, or she's trying and failing to look indifferent to Catherine standing in front of her. Then, of course, after she's been smirking while standing in front of the coffin, she almost lies on the floor with how deep her curtsy was. That must have really upset her. We all know her thoughts regarding curtsying to the queen. So icky. This is the smirk of a money-hungry, self-absorbed nobody who thinks she just won the lottery. She's not thinking only of all the applause and adoration she thinks will come with their upcoming documentary and spare us comedy. But she's also thinking Queen E left them a ton of gold and jewels and she really will be the star of the universe. She knew all the poison and hatred and lies she and her husband had told were recorded for Netflix and ready to go. The abuse of the queen, lying about her Commonwealth speech, mocking her, lying, and she had demanded to be taken to Balmoral, presumably so she could be so important and maybe take a selfie there. The queen's death was the final nail in the coffin for the grifters as far as the royal family are concerned. All the lies, leaks, attention-seeking, Netflix. She probably was thinking they'd be getting a fat inheritance, a few palaces, dripping in jewels and loads of money, and would be welcomed back with open arms, left eye on the coronation, and hopefully her own after that to be as Queen Claw, vile woman. She must have been calculating how much money she could make from being in Balmoral and seeing the queen after she had died, how she could leak incessantly intimate details of the final day and moments. She told Her Majesty the late queen to drop dead, allegedly, so she's probably feeling quite pleased with herself. She blames two elderly dead people for the dumpster fire that she made of her life. She's vile. I hope karma serves her everything she's put out into the world, hot, fresh, and triple helpings. The smirk of a woman who sees murdered children in Uvalde and travels there with a camera crew for self-promotion. The smirk of a woman who hated the queen because she had slapped down all her demands and had seen through her as the vicious, nasty, scheming sociopath that she was. Some sugar tried to say she was probably remembering a nice memory with the queen when she was smiling. It was almost insulting to read them trying to justify and explain her smile away like that. Also, I thought the queen was head of this big racist firm that didn't help Meghan when she was suicidal and pregnant. Like, no, seriously, what good memories could they have shared in two years of knowing each other? and then a vicious, brutal attack on everything the Queen held dear promptly thereafter. How she despised the Queen. She denied her all she wanted and demanded, just a face of evil, smirking with her rhinoplasty. She's thinking, I've won. Soon, Netflix and Spare will bring your house to its knees before me. They will bend the knee to me. Your house belongs to me. I know what's coming, and nobody else here does. I have all the power. You are dead. Nobody will protect them now, Harry's grandmother. I won. You lost. I won. I've seen more than one photo of Meghan during the funeral ceremonies that looks like she's smirking just a little because she does know what's coming and truly thinks the world will believe the Harkles and bring down the British royal family. Smirks galore, but she looked shaken at the walkabout when Catherine stared her down. The whole thing is great, but those last seconds right before they get into the car, so many tiny details. They're leaving and William says bye to the crowd. 
I think he even tells her to say goodbye. She starts to say something to William and Catherine, steps forward into Megan's space, and says with her body, shut up and step back. It happened in a millisecond. Then Catherine steps back and flashes a smile and waves to the crowd. Everybody at this time looked crestfallen. Even when they tried smiling while meeting crowds, there's a droopy look and feel. But Megan looked upbeat and mighty smug too. No matter how hard she tried to feign sadness by furrowing her brows or shedding that single tear, except during the walkabout, Catherine seriously put her in her place. Megan is shaken. She does not know what to do with herself. She awkwardly flops her arms around and does her hair thing. At the very last second, you see one of William's staff give a wide-eyed what the hell just happened to look to another staff person. Shaken as in, I was at Frogmore, still raging from being kept from this woman's deathbed, which would have been such an amazing story to share with the Netflix crew capturing my grief. Queen loved me the most. In fact, she even said, Sophie, Megan, you are my main girl. I told Harry we would just walk out to the crowds who were waiting and crying to see us, when suddenly his brother with the bigger sausage called and said we would be joining him and his ugly wife. It was not what the crowds wanted, but my husband said that we need to keep one thing in mind, Gan Gan's will. So, fine, I grabbed a handful of my absent, now present, mom's magic, peaceful juju and commenced to charm my adoring fans until that meanie, weighty Katie mean mugged me and it reminded me that she and Big Sausage Willie would be in control of my husband's pa now that my husband's grandma died. Megan should have never been allowed to attend. Our late queen called her evil. She wasn't wrong. Harry and Meghan were in Europe when she died and had made no plans to visit her despite her ill health. Meghan was lucky she was nearby for her attempted photo ops. Otherwise, she would have been politely encouraged not to come. One commenter said, I don't doubt that Meg thought those exact things. This person, along with her husband, contributed to the misery the late queen dealt with. Besides her health issues and issues relating to her work, there was Harry and Meghan married, lying, throwing mud at Her Majesty, and doing everything possible to hurt the very people that gave her everything she has. What do you think of Meghan Markle's smirk as she stands in front of Her Majesty the late Queen's coffin? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.